everybody it's Julie I just did the cover sewed on the cover and then I bound the journal and so we are ready to start adding in our ephemera and so we'll be closing up pockets adding ephemera and yes you'll notice I do not um, ink I am I am a lazy crafter and I am not a big fan of ink. However, when I make journals using the kits that I make that are distressed and, and inked, they are beautiful. And sometimes I'm like, well, why? I should ink, but um, no, I'm not going to. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and We'll add in some of the things that we have. I want to take a look at what we've got here. Um, so the Patreons, they got to see, <laughs> they got to see me bind this, and uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, there is uh, medical tape in the the binding, so it was it was hard to get. It was hard to get the my pokey tool, which my pokey tool is a push pin. My trusty little green, oh, where is it? There it is. My trusty little green push pin. And um, yeah, so that gives us a pocket there. Now the thing about a list journal is it does not need to be overly decorated. You actually don't want it to be overly decorated. Um, you, you want everything to be, or I do anyway, I want it all to be a working part of the journal. So even though we have things that um, we're putting in, uh, they all have a job. Okay, so for this, remember we cut these um, out of the Dear Julie Julie page and there's a piece on this side and there's a piece on the other side and we're going to make these into pockets. So just waiting for the glue to come out and we're going to go ahead and put that and we'll glue that down. That's just a little too big. <laughs> okay. So, but we're gonna go ahead and go through and we'll be gluing the pockets down. At the same time, you'll see I'm gonna continue to do what I call breaking the paper. And that is where I'm folding it so that the paper gets used to have that, that this, um, that your binding is pliable and that okay and then we're going to go ahead and so that you know this is a pocket let's go ahead and it's a little bigger than what I wanted but that's okay okay so that gives us a little pocket right there And our little envelope that we made yesterday that has the little note papers that can go right in there fits perfect I love it and then this one this one could go right in here it also fits perfect and it's kind of cool because you know that those have your note papers in them now you can go ahead and Decorate your um, graph papers and things like that if you want to. Um, at this point, I'm not going to. I may come back and do that. Okay, um, here I have, <laughs> I have a, a dilemma. Um, the glue is not gonna hold this. Okay, so we're gonna want to add some double-sided tape there. And we know we're going to need it for both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off. And 
and then I'm going to cut cut it up the middle and that'll give me a piece for each side. Okay, lay it down, pick it up. Okay, I'm going to fold this. There was a little bit hanging off the edge. I'm going to fold that in and fold that down. Okay, so there, now I have a pocket there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put our little note paper here. Okay. And then I wish I had one of these that was decorated, but I don't. So I'm just going to take one of the playing cards and put it behind there. So you can see it because it's pretty okay so there's our flip out with our flip flop we did that yesterday um, okay so here we are this is the center of our signature we're gonna leave this because um, and we're, we'll put a paper clip here on each side so that you can um, add like receipts and things in here and they're in the center that's why I usually do it like that um, we're going to go ahead. You see we've already given this its little closures. And I'm going to turn this into a double pocket. Okay. So I like these because um, it's it's stir it's a little heavy duty because it's with the cardstock that we used. They are a little bigger, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Um, we'll wait for it to dry, but this you could put like um, gift cards things like that in that area is what okay so I'm not gonna decorate the paper clip so far we'll see how much time we have but I am gonna add a paper clip here okay so I'm gonna add a paper clip here and I'm gonna add a paper clip here after we get now this one is one long pocket Ooh. And we've got the globbledy gloop there. Okay. Okay, I remember I did use um, that so that I did make a little lip on it. Okay, so there's that. And then what I like to put there is a file, a little file. And um, obviously this is too tall and it's gonna be too big because of the gobbledygook. But we'll go ahead and bring it down and cut it down. Now you could cut this Fold that over and have a pocket on there. Um, I'm not going to uh, because I don't want the extra bulk. Okay, but this will also give you a, a writer, a board for writing. Okay, so. And that'll fit perfect right in there okay so again washi tape along these edges would be really cool here's the other side of okay I 
think it's funny that um, that it has scratch paper here, but that's okay. It's all okay. Everything's okay. That pocket's already done. Okay, so now we have this pocket here and this pocket here. So last time we did our pockets off the side. This time we're going to go off the top. And um, we're going to go ahead and put this here. Okay, and that'll glue. And then the bottom, I'm going to put it on top of the side one so that hopefully that will help it from catching whatever you're keeping inside here hopefully won't catch. Okay, and then we're going to have this pocket up here. Sometime today we will have a pocket. You know what, we have all those little pieces. I think we will be um, making some decorative paper clips for this. I just remember this, this kit has so many little pieces. Okay, so then we have this, we've got line papers, we've got graph papers. We're still time to wrap, pull out the other fabric tack, huh? I keep sitting down to make an order again and I get distracted. Okay. Um, I'm a little concerned about what's going on there because of that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and make it into a pocket. Okay. And that was just because, remember, the, the pocket on the other side is small. So this is part three, and if you were a Patreon and you got to watch the other, it was part, part four because of the binding part. There's a little flip out, and there's that, and we have one more pocket. So there's that. Okay, now one of the things that I noticed is we can go ahead and have a a belly band is is a good little addition. Okay, so using this I like to put my belly bands on a piece that is really busy or has dark paper and then we're going to be putting one of the pretty papers inside of it and so I don't think we need to add a second piece over here to hold it so we're not going to have to build a belly band here because that that is going to be big enough. However, we have so many pieces of awesome ephemera. There's our little ticket that I used my hole punch and um, that's too big. Let's find one of the smaller ones. 
Yeah, this little one. Okay, so we'll add the little one. And there we go. Okay, there's that. And then we have this and this, and I think that they might really look kind of cool with, what if we, what if we held this down with that? Okay, it's not gonna hold it super heavy duty, but we can hold it using the stapler, okay? So that'll still flip out, but that'll go in there. And you'll also be able to, if you have something else that you need to hold, you can also hold that in there. So if you had a receipt or something that you wanted to hold, you could go ahead and hold, hold that in there. Okay, um, let's see. Pockets. There we go. And here's our other, our other side. Oh, so the other thing that we have is we have the large tag and it's on copy paper. So I think what we'll do with this is we'll go ahead and we'll put it here. I'm gonna look around and see if there's Um, here's this. If we cut that down just a little bit, it can become a pocket. It covers up our February, which I like. Yet you can still write. I like to write in the little squares. That's just that's just a little something that I like to do. Put that in there. Okay, and then we'll put this up up here. Globity loop. Oh. Okay, so we're even. We're even. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and down here, I'm going to put some of our glue and this is the fabric tack because I'm adding fabric it's one of the little patches that I've been using then up here I'm gonna do a little collage that will also close off the top to this pocket or to this flip okay and I'm gonna use little blue stamp and the wooden nickel and I think I need one more thing first class mail too big so need one more thing in here one more little thing just Oh, how about a purple stamp? Purple stamp. Okay, so we have our purple stamp, our blue stamp, and our wooden nickel. We'll just grab the glue off of here. 
don't take any wooden nickels. There you go. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add this because we want to use these words. So I'm getting the glue on this label. And then I'm gonna put glue on this also. Okay, so this is about as decorated as <laughs> as I would nor was as I would do a page in here. Okay, then you can add some note papers in here if you have some. Um, I would I would. I don't have any right out here, but um, that's that's something that I would would recommend. Okay, then you have this spot here. My sleeves are sticking to things. If this was cardstock, I would probably use that. Okay. We're getting close, you guys. We're getting close. Okay, but this um, this will give you a like a, a tab. That's the word I'm looking for. And you can also always make it into a pocket. And I will because I love pockets, and I cannot lie. So I usually will add a pocket wherever I can add a pocket. So it's kind of a secret pocket right there. And then I think we'll go ahead and we'll add our ticket. So this is the small punch and the large punch from the crocodile. And just made it look like it was, you know, had been taken. Ticket from the ticket taker but then they gave it back to you. <laughs> so you were, you were punched. Okay, so there's that. Could add a flip-flop on this side like we did on the other side. That was from from that okay go ahead and add that right there in the back you know what let's put this one right there in the back because we have that there okay so any of these places that you have two pages together you can um, go ahead and attach them you can turn them into a pocket um, just using a paper clip. I think that that is kind of a cool way of doing that. And okay, so now we're going back in the other direction. And we are going to fill this up with the cards that we have. I like to put the part that is pretty so it faces up so that you see it. And then, you know, we do have, we have some butterflies and we have some other things that we can go ahead and add to some of these pages. So we're just going back through. We'll add a label there so that you can label whatever it is that you're putting on this page if you want to.
this one is pretty it's a pretty big pocket I think we'll put this in here and this okay because this is a really um, it's a hefty pocket it will hold that no problem we have our little fold out here I'm gonna go ahead and put oh there's some more stuff up there oh as we're getting so low on this glue <laughs> I don't want to waste. Don't want to waste it. Okay. Okay, so this can just turn over and I think that's really cool. It just makes turns it into a nice little a nice little spot. Oh, see, I, I love that. That's my, I love that. It's like my favorite part of the, the journal. Yeah. Okay. You could add these in. I'm going to save those because I've got another whole page of them that I can use on something. Okay. So we said we were going to go ahead and make a couple paper clips. We did save this piece. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here just so we don't keep adding, keep getting glue all over everything. Okay, so we have this. So we have this. We need two of them, one for each side, and then we might make one for somewhere else. But I, I like, um, I kind of have a plan on how I put mine together so that when I'm using it, I can find my stuff. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to go ahead and make it like we make the ones with the tickets. Go ahead and do that. We'll glue this down. It's going to be a nice size paper clip. It will hold a, it will be, be a good hold. Okay, go ahead and Hold that down. I'm looking around, see what we got over here. We still have a lot of stuff. We have a blue butterfly. That might be good if it was coming from the side. We've got yeah, we've got um, that. <laughs> Any day now. So, did you participate in the Seven Days of Spring? Um, remember, if you are, you know, still working on your items, to tag me um, in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group with your items when they are finished, so that I can get them into the uh, playlist. Sorry about that. Okay, we're, I can't, I don't see the, the other one, so we're just going to go with this one that says flower. The other one's yellow, I think. But that's okay. We'll do this one. Okay. So there's one. And 
then I think for our second one, we'll go ahead and make our, our paper clip and then figure out what's going on it. That's a little different, but So, um, just so you don't forget, Thursday is April 1st, and we will have a new challenge, and it starts on April 1st. The deadline for it will be April 30th, and um, it's, it's going to be a fun one, I think, so I hope you'll... Be here at 1030 Pacific Standard Time to see the reveal and you can ask questions because uh, I'll be here and, um, and yeah I think it's going to be a good one it's um, it's designed so that we can uh, use it with other things that we're doing and maybe get some things done or some things uh, ready for the next project it's uh, yeah so it's pretty fun pretty fun pretty fun and we'll probably have you with the song stuck in your head all month So it's an idea that I had last year, right after I had set up the August um, challenge, I came, I was like, oh, this would be a great A challenge. And so I'm excited, very, very excited about it. Okay, so I added a little lace on there. Okay, looking over here one more time, see if I can find my other word. It probably stuck to my sleeve and went for a walk. Walk, it says walk on there. Um, okay, well, It is what it is right here. Okay, I do have this little um, piece of a doily sitting here on the desk. So that can go right there on the edge because that's going to go off the top. And yeah, I guess we totally have lost the other, the other word. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll this one go off the top okay so just like that we have our paper clips and now let's go ahead and make some things with what's left here on the desk I have oh these were supposed to go in that one note paper but that's okay okay so we have an envelope 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 um, we have we have that okay we have a little green card So I'm going to go ahead and stick these two together. Today. <laughs> Sometime today. So is anybody out there making a list journal? Have you done one before? Like I keep saying that it is my favorite kind of journal. 
I love, 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 love list journals. Okay, so I'm going to take this daffodil and put it on the pink business cards, just like that. And then we have the blue butterfly. Go ahead and add that down at the bottom. I know usually I put them at the top, but it it wasn't it didn't want to be at the top. Then I need to add just a little bit of glue. Put it on, take it off. Put it on, take it off on the antennas. Oh, that one didn't work. There we go. Put it on, take it off. Okay, so there's there's that. And then we have we have these. I think we'll do the purple one. to do it kind of like that and of course use my stapler because that's the fastest way to get her done there we go okay so this is going to be able to go inside this envelope this is um oh well, this is from when i was making the the digital kit it actually might be it might be from like the the mini journal kit part okay there we go so the envelope just came in the mail in the stuff I I ordered for the next digital kit well, one of the next because we have we have a few coming we have um, Daisy we have April showers which is rain and umbrella things and okay so that says dream of spring Well, I wasn't going to, we'll use this down here, okay, That'll... okay, so our little envelope is decorated, you'd be able to put some fun things in the envelope if you wanted. And then we'll just trim the edges, trim the edges. Add a, the green butterfly. that now let's get pull okay got all these little things this is what we have left to use put them right up there and pull the journal back out okay okay you know what I think I used that big old pocket but I okay so there's I think this should go right in the front pocket actually 
Okay, that'll go in the front pocket. Okay. Now we're going to go through and add things in. Oh, you know what? I was thinking. Oh, that's, is that the one that we put the playing card? Yeah. I think the playing card isn't going to work because it, it doesn't work. But what we could do is if we had something that folded over, it could go in there. But anyway, I like that. Okay. Then we have this area, this space up here. Flip flop. Okay. Here we are at our paper clip. Paper clip number one. And it can hold this whole thing down too. Okay. And paper clip number two. And it can either go on the inside or on this side. Okay. Flips out. Okay, if this was a regular journal, I would make more tags and things, but because it is a list journal, we don't want a whole bunch of bulk. Okay, okay but that gives us, let's turn that one this way. So we have a pretty good sized spot there. Looking around going, okay, we have this, we have this. That would be kind of cool down there. Yeah, it'll give us another spot, but you know, you're also probably gonna pick up things along the way that you might wanna put in here, so. And yes. I'm going to make it a pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie. Pocket. Okay. put this here with glue on either side of it and it's going to be in an angle glue on either side at an angle Side and an okay, and something can go ahead and fit in there if if we want it to. Okay, but I like that. Okay, um,
I don't want to take up writing space or drawing space, but this would be a good place to have something like a butterfly. <laughs> Bless you. that there. I think we'll put them both right here. Oh, I like that. So the other thing about this, this journal is um, I like them. I like them to be pretty. Um, things that I like because it encourages me to use it. So there, those are very similar. And I think we'll use nope I don't like it anywhere on there I was going to use that okay so let's see we've got this little the little garden And I think you can write on here or, you know, glue your own things in there. We'll put you there. And we'll put you there. And... have um, just a couple more we have a couple more of these and then I have some of the items that I made for swing into spring and we might be able to use those in here if if we seem to think that we need them so I'm thinking something like that like that just happen to have a butterfly hanging around here. How about a not upside down stamp? Okay. I like that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that one has a swing, that one has somebody swinging, that one has the swing, swinging, swinging. Okay, I thought, I thought I had more than just one that wasn't actually, oh, and that never got put on there, so we're going to go ahead and put that on there. It is the same... Um, flowers as the seven days of spring 2021 digital from dear Julie Julie so um, this is one of the small tag images I'm just gonna put it over this tag okay I know we've had other places that still needed things. Oh, okay. There we go. That can go right in there. 
Oh, my tummy's growling. Okay. Okay, I think for the most part we've used all of that's got glue on it now. just trying to oh I like it there help to decorate that pocket so we have some labels we have another one of the round things and I will go ahead and find So the way I've been putting these on is I just put a little rectangle of glue then add the little patch from the fabric. So I'm going to find a couple more um, note papers and you'll see those in here when we do the flip through. Crazy just to just try to use the stuff up, but oh, here we should put that over. I don't like the upside down letters and words, so we'll go ahead. Whoops. have a little oh we have the little first class mail here we're getting there we're getting there so do you uh, try and use up all your pieces or do you um, I mean I have so many things of things that I had I saved the leftover pieces that I'm trying not to do that and, um, okay, so what if we put this, hmm. what does it look like on this side? Oh, this side we did a, a little pocket underneath the, the little label. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'll find some just note papers and we'll add those in. So, um, let's go ahead and when I find the note papers, we'll put uh, this little thing that we're going to make right here on one of them. Okay. So we'll add that. And we'll add this. Oh, wait. There's one more of these.
He used all the butterflies, right? Oh my gosh, I just, just noticed we have, we have these over here, you guys. And these are the cutoffs from I did just do that. Okay, this will fit right on top of there. With our little daffodils. I just happened to have a purple butterfly. So that gives us a little notebook of something or other. So these are perfect for those, you know, when you, um, I can't write on what normally would have been scrap paper because now to me, scrap, a lot of the scrap paper is, is good stuff. I'll go ahead and put that in there, but it might be better here. Okay. And so what do we have left? We have uh, some labels. Oh, we have the round thing. Round thing. Round thing and labels. And so I'm gonna grab note papers. I'm gonna make a closure. For this and I will be back the next video will have the um, the flip through okay of everything that we have in here and so I hope you'll be back for that um, we will find places for the labels and for several note papers so um, if you can kind of take a guess about where we're going to be putting them where do you think we need some some labels let me know and that is my well and I also need to add some signature ties okay so that is what we have um, this is, it's still, this is the size that I actually like, okay? Um, lots of places to write in here, places to keep lists, places to keep small lists, and really small lists. Okay? All right in here. Oh, we've got the little March calendar. We'll put that right in there.
Okay, and okay, so that is what we've got for today. We will be back with the flip through. Thank you for being here. I hope you have enjoyed this start to done. Like I said, we will do just those few more things and then we'll have the flip through. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.